Hi everyone. Today's topic is on multicollinearity. So multicollinearity is an issue in regression. Why it is an issue? It is an, an issue, it's a serious issue if the two independent variables are related with each other. So we don't want our independent variables to be related with each other because they are supposed to be independent. In other words, x1 is supposed to be independent, x2 is supposed to be independent. But if the score, if the correlation, correlation score between these two independent variables is more than 0 0.7, we can say that there is an issue of multicollinearity. In other words, when two independent variables or x are highly correlated with a score of more than 0 0.7, it leads to the issues of multicollinearity. So how to detect multicollinearity? So we can use Excel to detect the problem of multicollinearity. Okay, so we go to data. Data. And select data analysis. We select correlation so over here we need to put uh, we need to key in our input so input range meaning that we will select the whole range here so credit score or before that this is a data on it's a banking data on credit score so credit score is a dependent variable years of credit history is independent variable revolving balance a revolving utilization are all independent variables. So we do have three independent variables and one dependent variable. So let's see whether there is correlation between these three independent variables. So in this input range, you need to, to key in all, all uh, the data for dependent and independent variable. So let me try it again. Make it slightly smaller so it can be easier. Okay, all right. Data analysis, correlation. So in the input range, select the data from dependent variable up to the independent variables. Sorry, sorry, let me repeat again. So the input range start from the dependent variable and also the independent variable. So group by columns, labels in the first row because I want this label to be included. And the output range, wherever you want to have your output, for example, just put it here and press OK. So here, this is what we call correlation metric. So what does that mean? What does it show? It indicates the problem of multicollinearity if the score between these independent variables is more than 0 0.7. So you look at the relationship between this is the first IV, this is the second IV, and this is the third IV. So if you look at the relationship between years of history and years of history here, Definitely, it is perfect correlation because it is relationship between the same variable. Okay, but if you look at relationship between years of credit history and revolving balance, it is, it is only 0 0.12. And between years of credit history, it is between years of credit history and revolving utilization, it is negative 0 0.48. So, we can see here that there is no such thing problem of multicollinearity between the independent variable in this model. Okay, 
because uh, the value of 0 0.12 the value of 0 0.48 and the value of 0 0.14, those values are not more than 0 0.7. So we can conclude that in this regression model, based on the correlation metric, there is no problem of multicollinearity. Okay, thank you very much.